Hey yo, what's happening? What's going on, MDB family? All right, y'all. So before I jump into today's video, I have a group chat on Instagram called the Red Pill Zone. Now, and this is a group chat strictly for my high value guys on this channel. So if you are high value, and if you are subscribed, also be sure to send us requests down below. Man's Daily Bread. It's my Instagram. It'll be linked in the description. So all you gotta do is send me a request message, and I'll see it and I'll send you an invite. So in this group chat, we talk about female nature, business and motivation everything under the sun make sure you get right on your goals and make sure you as a man get one percent better at least every single day so if you are interested if you are about it send me a request down below guys be sure to watch this and this is gonna be a crazy video little baby cheated on his girl with a porn star named miss london so this is pretty juicy and I just heard about it and a couple of my friends wanted me to make a video on this so here we are, you know what I'm saying? I'll be showing you a couple of screenshots of why little baby cheated and whatnot, you guys already know. But she he cheated, right? And it's so funny because he paid. A lot of people say he's a simp for paying for pussy, right? But I'm just like, no 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 no. I don't think he paid for pussy. I think he paid so that she wouldn't say anything so that she wouldn't go run her mouth and next thing you know get his ass in trouble with jada right overall yo i feel like even if jada found out i, I don't know what will happen i think she's she found out but i feel like even if jada finds out that little baby was cheating she's probably not even gonna leave him why? Because he's a high value guy. She probably got imprinted by him, but who knows, right? I feel like he cheated because he can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a celebrity, he's a superstar, he can do whatever he wants. But I feel like at the end of the day, he paid Miss London to not say anything, to shut the fuck up so that it wouldn't get out, right? And if you see in the screenshot, she, she claims victim saying, oh, she was extreme, extremely drunk and she went on twitter with her drunk ass self with her twitter fingers and started yapping about the situation and gave away all the beans you know what i'm saying which was kind of fucked up to be honest like she he paid six thousand dollars for her to shut the fuck up and she wouldn't even take that respect like she didn't even take that she fucking shit all over that shit she's like fuck that you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go on twitter and yap all about it so that you can get in trouble Yo guys, and I know there's a couple of guys on YouTube, Instagram, everywhere, all over social media that agree with the narrative that men cheat more than women do. Which, this story obviously doesn't support my point of view. Women, I feel like women cheat more than men. Now let me explain. Now, if you look at this, for example, let's, let's look at Tinder, right? The average girl on Tinder, a five. A five out of 10, on the SMP scale, okay? A five has more options of guys than an average five guy has options of girls on Tinder. Why is that? Hmm? I wonder. Terrence, why is that? It's because women love to date up, right? And us guys, we fail to have higher standards for ourselves. And that's the truth, guys. It's sad to say, but it's the truth. Why? It's because a high value guy doesn't always settle for the best, right? Because they feel like it's easier to deal with a little six or a seven, right? Meanwhile, the five or six girl that provides no value, right? That's average at best, can look at the 10 or the eight guy and that five girl, they feel like they deserve that high top guy, that high value guy, that six figure earner guy. Like, look what happened. I don't, you guys had to see it, right? It was a video of Kevin Samuels that went viral, right? All over Instagram with, he was interviewing an average looking girl and she claimed that she, she deserves a high value guy and nothing less he already established and right away said the truth you know what i'm saying the truth hurts obviously 
that's that's him right he's basically the embodiment of the phrase the truth hurts that's him right he said that he's a she's a five on average at best and sh and she has kids so she's 33 years old or 34 years old she's almost in the danger zone she has kids she's a five in the sexual marketplace but yet she still claims she deserves a high value guy which is crazy to me right so now with all this information guys let's take all this information and apply it to this one thing if girls have all these options right think about it. if girls have all these options why wouldn't they not cheat more than guys if girls are always having these options of high value guys right why would they not cheat on the average guy that they're with why wouldn't they cheat on the five beta male provider that she's just using him for security why wouldn't she cheat on him versus the average guy what what girls does he have what options does he have he's not he's he's already in a scarcity mindset and he's already fucked up so why would he have the ability to cheat more than the woman does it's just facts it's just facts it's facts guys like i don't know how else to explain it a lot of guys are delusional on the internet and it's because you guys are plugged into the blue pill mer the the blue pill society you're plugged in to all this stupid bullshit propaganda right you're basically following the female imperative that is the female imperative they want you to believe that they want you to believe that guys cheat more than girls because the girls will never take accountability for their cheating they be bouncing on digging sticks and not counting their own body counts guys why do you think when you ask a girl her body count she always gives you a below 10 answer even though she's she's way over the age she's way into her sexual prime why would she give you a number less than five no women are celibate no women are celibate stop the cap all these women are fucking what don't you understand she's bouncing on a digging stick she's bouncing on a digging stick she's bouncing on a digging stick and she's bouncing on a digging stick how are guys cheating more than women? How is the average guy cheating more than the average woman? It doesn't make sense. Stop. Just stop, guys. It doesn't make sense. You sound like a fool. And another thing with Lil Baby. Now I'll come back to Lil Baby. So I feel like he paid six hundred dollars to so that sh so so that Miss London can keep her mouth shut, right? Or six six thousand dollars, right? My bad. And. I, I honestly feel like it's not be it's not it wasn't the the reason why all this got leaked I don't feel like it was because she was drunk I feel like it was because it's the female imperative it's it's in her nature to support sisterhood right and especially if the digging stick was good if the digging stick was good if she if he laid down the pipe right of course she's gonna tell all her friends and then it's gonna go out right it's gonna go viral and since miss london has a huge network of people it's going to go viral one way or the other because women like to talk it's it's the truth guys it's facts i don't know what else to say it's facts men we don't even have we don't even have the peace of mind to jack off in, in private without someone knowing. But yet a girl can cheat, right? And no one would know about it, right? The only people to know about it would be her friends. And if the guy tries to find out some sort of way, the friends have her back to try to manipulate him to think, oh, she will never do that. She's your she's your loyal girlfriend. Why would she do that? Her friends will never 
ever sell her out on her cheating. Plus, she will never take accountability if she got caught cheating. Look at the video I posted the other day. The girl got caught cheating on live, but yet she still didn't take accountability. She tried to justify it, saying it was an inflatable. Like, come on, y'all. Like, women are easy. Like, come on. Like, think about it. Like, guys, this is how they are. I didn't make him like this. The most high did. Women are sneaky. You, you will never, you'll never catch a woman cheating. You will rarely catch a woman cheating. There you go. Because I didn't want to say it like that and then I get flamed in the comments. You will rarely catch a woman cheating. And if she does, she won't take accountability for it. She'll try to justify it. Make make a justification and say, Oh, you know, you were you weren't treating me right, or oh you weren't around, you just didn't you just didn't do it for me. Jay Pickett Will Smith. Alright y'all, so that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for liking, comment, subscribe, share the fucking video. As always guys, check me out on Instagram. I do free one-on-one -on -one consultations. Check me out on there. I do coaching y'all, okay? I'm gonna say it again. I do free coaching. So if you need help, if you need a question to be answered, hit me up. My DMs are open, right? So link in the description, check me out there. And don't forget to check out the link and send me a request to join the Red Pill Zone group chat. All right, y'all. Don't forget to check out these videos on screen before you leave. Peace.